This is males, this is females, and he's pushing out about 50 to 60 punches. So this just hatched right now. And down there he has uh -huh. the bearded dragons. Wow. I, I'm honestly freaking speechless, man. What's up, YouTube? How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having a great day. Well, guys, I'm finally back over here in the States. I was out of Mexico a little longer than I thought I was going to be just because, you know, I forgot you had to get a COVID test before you come back to the country. And yeah, I forgot. So I got stuck there for two days, which was great because, man, I mean, I got a lot of info on what we're doing now, you know, out there in Mexico as far as, you know, expanding and growing the, the, uh, the hobby and business out there because, man, just being there in those couple of days, it, I mean, I have learned and seen a lot that's just really, really exciting, man. So before we start this crazy, crazy vlog that you guys are just gonna be honestly like mind blown, this guy, you know, started his pet store, his breeding facility, his, uh, I mean, feeder, I mean, you guys are just gonna see. I wanna show you guys something real, real quick. We have two clutches. You guys remember this one we actually had posted. It was the Mandarin Calico Hypo bred to the Black Pastel Mojave Hypo. But while I was gone, Turtle sends me a picture and our lavender pied laid five good eggs. And she was bred to a sunset clown. So that's a quad head. So we're gonna be getting from there five eggs. Hope I could get one male and four females. That would be really, really cool. But yeah, that's one thing I wanted to share with you guys. And um, also I dropped one of the craziest, uh, you know, um, what's it called? Patreon videos till this day, man. I did a Q&A and you know, big shout out to Las Vegas Balls for uh, really not being shy and asking me uh, how much did you make 2020? Um, yeah, so if you guys want to find out, uh, Patreon uh, information will be on the description down below. I'm also going to get into depth about the Mexican market that's going on right now. That's going to be the next big thing. I'm going to be probably moving out there, you know, for a month to start off some things over there, which I'm going to get into depth um, on my, uh, my Patreon account. I will touch up a little bit on this on my uh, next vlogs. But yeah, I just wanted to share this stuff with you guys. Um, guys, check out this crazy, crazy reptile pet store collection, uh, veterinarian. Uh, I mean, dude, this is how pet stores should be. Check this out. All right, guys. So like I was been telling you guys that the the Mexican, you know, community out there with the, with the hobby of, you know, reptiles, how crazy it's growing. I just met this guy named Rodrigo from the, well, his is like House of, the House of Reptiles. It's like Casa de Reptiles. All his information is going to be on the description down below. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and website. If you guys ever come out here in Mexico and you guys want to see the best pet store down here, I recommend you guys come over here because this guy is the only person I know that breeds his pets the breeds his reptiles breeds his food everything and sells it out of his own shop so we were just at the shop up top which i'm going to show you guys a quick little glimpse of it but i'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown of what he has over here what he has breeding and his experience of what he's done and it's honestly freaking mind-blowing dude i mean this is honestly next level so this is right here is rodrigo the owner of the house of reptiles it's coming here la casa de la casa de los reptiles so um uh, Rodrigo, let's, let's, uh, te, voy, te, voy, te voy a preguntar en inglés, okay. entonces yo en español te digo otra vez. Mm -hmm. So, how long have you been doing reptiles for? ¿Cuántos años has estado haciendo los reptiles? Eh, 12 años. 12 años, ¿verdad? Y um, has tenido la tienda también y la... Y la, la, la tienda y la reproducción. So, he's been doing this for 12 years. He's had the store, which I showed you guys earlier, and this is where he does all his breeding. So, we already did a little walkthrough, and all these right here are his ball pythons on this whole wall right there. So, uh, Rodrigo, estamos explicando que this right here is all males, ¿verdad? Todos son machos. Todos son machos. Yeah, so everything right here is males right here, and then everything right here is all his females. So this is all of his ball pythons. And uh, Rodrigo, um, ¿cuántos, uh, ¿cuántos clutches tiene tu bolsa? ¿Cuántas puestas? Eh, ahorita llevamos 15 y esperamos entre 45 y 50 este año. So he, he has about 15 clutches right now that are laid on the floor. He's about to have about 40 more. So think about it. He's obviously doing something really good if he has this as males, this has females, and he's pushing out about 50 to 60 clutches. Man, lo que está haciendo que, man, usted sabe, si sabes lo que está haciendo, porque hay mucha gente que tienen muchos uh, serpientes, pero a veces ni pueden llegar a 40 or 50, sí, you know, clutches, <laughs> so. Yeah, so también, okay. So not only does he breed uh, ball pythons, he also has, you know, some boas. Yo les digo, ¿podrías, ¿podrías sacar los boas? Los Mexican boas, ¿verdad? Sí. He just had this clutch pop out, well, this litter come out, um, ¿cuántos años tiene? Five days old? Estas nacieron hace cinco días. Yeah, five days old. I mean, dude, this guy breeds everything. So, um, Rodrigo, también, um, usted hace uh, bearded dragons, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Chameleons, um, ball pythons, Correcto. boas, leopard geckos, I mean, everything. 
right? It's, it's a, yeah, whatever. So right now, he, I asked him. And he said, whatever is breedable, he's breeding it. He's kind of like a Kevin McClendon, like honestly from like nerd, just like the Spanish, the Mexican version is what I called it. But, uh, but yeah, um, so this is whole facility again, right here he has uh, some uh, leopard geckos. And then over here he has a lot of the bearded dragons. And look at, the, I mean, these setups are just amazing, dude. They're so freaking sick. I mean, look at this. He has these two males right here. He has other ones over here. And then he had just pulled out this female, which is one of the biggest Burmese pythons I've ever seen in my life. I am going to have my editor, David, pull up the part right now that's on the Spanish version of it and put some cool little music on it. But man, check this out. Isn't that crazy, dude? Huge features. Man, these things are all well fed. Like I said, he does all his rodents. He does, he breeds everything, man. It's so freaking cool. And then we have his bell chameleons. He's a big breeder of bell chameleons. You know, does really good over here at his shop. He was actually telling me that, you know, the color of this bell uh, chameleon right there means that she's done breeding. She actually had a male, which I believe, what much of her, Larry? Yeah, this male down over there. And while we were doing this, he had actually showed me that he has one laying eggs. Look at that. How freaking sick is that, man? So, real quick, um, Rodrigo, you know, muchas gracias, man. Thank no, you very you. much. Guys, go give him a follow everywhere. Instagram, Facebook, website, YouTube. You know, La Casa de Reptiles. La Casa de Reptiles, or I like to call it the, end of the reptile house. Um, otra vez. Rodrigo, muchas gracias, man. Dude, hope you guys enjoyed this. All right, guys, we are not done yet. Okay, so I totally forgot. He actually just mentioned it to us. He has another room. So he has actually, in the same building, he has a store. He has where he breeds his rodents. He has his breeding facility with all the reptiles. And then right here, he has his veterinarian place, you know? Hey, remember, speaking of veterinarians, we're both veterinarians. But also in the veterinarian spot, he has his incubation room. So aquí está todo su incubador, ¿verdad? Así es. Look at this. All the incubations going on in here. Look how perfect. En este incubadora tengo el gecko leopardo, tengo y incubo los camaleones. Aquí el gecko leopardo lo meto para que tratar de sacar hembras. Ahorita nacieron estos. Okay, so right here suddenly he has the leopard geckos there and the chameleons because he's trying to breed females. Um, he has them apart because obviously they have to be different temperature. Estos nacieron this. hoy. Está terminando una puesta también de camaleones. Wow, look at that. Baby chameleons. That is freaking insane. I'm telling you guys, this right here, this right here is super, super next level. Next, next level. So this just hatched right now. Literally, so it's gonna go back because it came from right there where all the eggs are right there. And now it's gonna come into all his brothers and sisters. Look at that. That is so amazing. It's like I was saying right here, he has his, uh, the lizards. And uh, Rodrigo, right here, are están los, uh, los piton bolas? Ball piton pythons? bola, aquí tengo piton, eh, algunos cuantos de piton burmés, piton bola, so tengo iguana. Oh, wow. So sí. he does iguanas, Burmese pythons, and ball pythons on this one because sí, estos it's de aquí son de, de dragon barbado, de, de pogonos. And down there he has uh -huh. the bearded dragons. Wow. I am honestly freaking speechless, man. I mean, dude, we're about to go check his... Uh, his rodent facility right now too. Like I thought we were done just by showing you guys that thing, but no, we are just getting started, man. How cool is that? Guys, comment down below. I'm telling you, this is seriously freaking mind blowing. Okay, so right here is his breeding facility. And right here where he fixes all his lamps, all his, the stuff that he needs to get worked on. And here it is. La rata. Oh my Ratas God. Ratas y ratones. So he does rats and mice. Look at this. Wow. I mean, dude, this is exactly what I call a one-stop shop. Look at this. Aquí reproducimos varios tipos de cucarachas, reproducimos los erizos, el erizo africano, la rata, ratón. Okay, guys, so actually what he's just telling me right now, so he does rat, mice, African software, crickets, dubias, um, everything. That's the way to do it, man. If you're going to have your own pet store and just work it as a business and hobby, there's a way to do it, man. 
¿Cuántos, uh, cuántos uh, uh, grillos cree que hace usted al mes? Eh, hijo, no lo suficientes porque consumimos 100 millares de grillos al mes. ¿Cien mil? Cien mil grillos al mes consumimos. Wow. Ok, so he's selling easily about 7,000. So he's not even making enough. ¿Y, uh, y uh, los ratones? Eh, ratones, eh, sacamos alrededor de 600 al mes. Rats, they're doing about 600. Y de rata igual más o menos 600 And al mes. So, oh, sorry, so 1,200. ¿Y todavía no es suficiente usted cree para or? No, no, en la tienda consumimos alrededor de 2,500 ratones al mes. And it's still not enough, right? Because he's actually, you know, selling... ¿Cuántos? ¿Cuántos está vendiendo? 2,500 más 2,500 of them. Wow. Tenemos tiendas de crecimiento, como las de la tienda. That is so sick. So crazy. How crazy was that, man? Pet store, uh, breeding facility, uh, rodent and crickets and dubia breeding facility, uh, incubating room, veterinarian in there, all in one. That is so freaking crazy, man. It was crazy. You know, we were there talking about it and the cells of snakes over there just to get... So you know what's really needed over there? I'll just make this really, really, really quick is people are looking for a lot of three, like two to three codom heads. Head pipes, head clowns, head this, head that, because they don't really, they haven't really hit that that um, that realm of you know O D Y B inchy pies, um, O D yellow belly clowns, things like that. I mean, and the stuff that's selling over there, man, it, it is crazy, dude. And they pay they pay big bucks over there. I mean, dude, I was surprised over there. I mean, do they? There's so much people that I've met that have you know literally invested half a million dollars, U.S. dollars. There's this guy that I'm going to be going to Mexico City to see his a collection. You guys remember that Arlington video where that hundred thousand uh, dollar reticulated python? Dude, there's a guy out there that bought one for a lot of money. He's one of the only ones that has it out there in Mexico. I mean, dude, the stuff that's like growing out there. It's insane, but guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next, I'll be doing a vlog showing you guys a powerhouse mail that I just bought as a backup. I mean, dude, I went in deep on this one, but it definitely, definitely, definitely needed this thing. But as always, man, appreciate all the support. Till next time, peace.